Hey guys, welcome back to Fork and Fly. Stay tuned if you want to see how to make this easy chicken breast, curry chicken, and potatoes. Mmm. It's hitting. Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. In a pot, we're gonna add some oil to the pot. Off camera, I cut up some onions and red onions. Give that a nice saute. I'm so mad, I just burnt my onions. I had a quick emergency. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So yeah, they're brown. <laughs> You're gonna add some curry powder to it. This is the curry powder I'm using. And you wanna add some turmeric. Cook up good. While that's cooking over there, we're gonna season our chicken. We got the same curry powder. Same turmeric. We're gonna add some chicken seasoning. Some garlic. Pepper. And some salt. Give that a good mix. I don't have gloves, so usually I would get down in there, but I don't have gloves. And if y'all ever had curry or cook with curry, you know that stains. So I'm just gonna mix it real good with my spatula. Get the size of the seasoning. Right now, we're eyeballing it. That's what we do with cooking. We love cooking because you don't have to measure, really. You eyeball everything. And we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes and add it straight to our onions. Our onions <laughs> are nice and burnt. <laughs> Not saying that that's the way to go, but it is what it is. And we're gonna add our chicken straight to it and get all that juice, that seasoning into the pot. Get everything friendly. Before we add water, we're gonna cover it for a few minutes. While we do have our chicken over here doing this thing, when I cook rice, I let my rice soak. Um, you'll see like that film on top. And then sometimes you'll get some unwanted stuff in there in there you see 
and you just want to get rid of it. I rinse it about, I would say three times. You might lose some rice, <laughs> some grains in the process, but it's all good. Some people like to put the hand and go like that. I just stir it around and then drain and then add more cold water until this is clear. You see? I'm gonna add some cold water. What the heck that is, <laughs> but it's not in my rice. Oh, saw something else. Look. Do y'all clean your rice? If not, are you like, amazed at what I found. Not like you have to pick out all the bad grains, but the first couple of stuff. Mm -mm. Now we're back over here to our chicken. And I didn't add no water. That's the water from the chicken itself. And as you know, I'm using chicken breast. I didn't have any thighs or wings or anything, but me and my family <laughs> wanted some curry chicken. We're gonna cover that for hmm, maybe two more minutes. Okay. Now we're gonna add our peppers. Green peppers, orange peppers, and red peppers. Let's cover that, and then we're gonna add our potatoes. Look at this, I cut this off camera. But look, I love color. And the reason why we're gonna add the potatoes last is because I'm doing small chunks. If you was doing big chunks, you want to add them ahead of time so they could soften a little bit, but not soften where once you touch them or mix this part, they turn into mush. <laughs> Look at this already. For those of y'all who don't know how to cook rice, I actually thought about just doing a regular cooking tutorial on how to cook rice. Cause I see a lot of people mess it up, which I'm not saying, wow, how do you mess up rice? But it can happen. Um, so I have short grain rice. And with short grain rice, I do a one to one ratio. If it was longer grain rice, you wanna do a little more because the rice grain is bigger and you need more water to cook. If you do short grain rice and say you have a cup, and you do more than a cup of water, then now you have more water, so that makes your rice more stuck together, gummy. So this is a cup of water. We're gonna let that boil, and we're gonna add our cup of rice. For my potatoes, we're just going to do two potatoes. That's it. If you want more, you could do more. If you don't want potatoes, don't add some, how about say tomatoes, potatoes. I cut them in the middle and then cut the halves into halves. You wanna kinda do even cuts cause you don't want some <laughs> to cook faster or slower than others. Like these, I might even do
do smaller. Because basically the curry chicken is done. It's just now we're adding potatoes, making more filling. Like I always say, I'm no professional chef, so my cutting skills ain't all that. <laughs> but it gets the job done. So now I'm cutting this one smaller since I cut those um, smaller. Now we're gonna add it to our beautiful. Look, there's no, I didn't add no water in it. This is because I covered it. It's the moisture from the vegetables and the chicken. And you're not making soup here. Like you can make some curry chicken soup. That's when you add a lot of water. But we're not doing that. So now we're just gonna add our potatoes to the mix. And when you add the potatoes, the potatoes absorb a lot of the seasoning. So after a while, you're gonna have to start tasting and season to taste. Cause if not, you won't have no, it won't taste like no curry chicken. And we don't want that, all the hard work that we put into this, right? Now, since the potatoes are still hard, you can mix it at this point without, you know, worrying about that it breaks up. You wanna coat the potatoes nicely. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna cover that for a few minutes and see what it does. Actually, before we cover that, we're just gonna add the water straight to it because I forget it's potatoes. They're gonna soak up the water also. Somebody might ask, oh, how much water you put in? I really don't know. Like I say, cooking is for fun. You just go along with it. Um, I didn't measure it. And it all depends on how much chicken and potatoes you're using. Everybody's measurements will be different. That's why we taste it. But as long as everything's cooked through and it's flavorful, you have a recipe. We don't want it to be too watery. Cover that. When we was cooking our vegetables and stuff, we had it to a high temperature, and then I lowered it a little bit. Now we're gonna do a little bit high so it's not taking too long, because the chicken is basically cooked right now. Add some salt, add your rice, your clean rice. Give that a good mix. Cover that and let it do its thing for about, it depends on what kind of rice you have, but I do it for like 10 to 15 minutes. I don't think the potatoes are as tender yet, so you can still move them, but move them Gently. It's not easy to stick a fork through them yet. This one's thin, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> no, it didn't even go through. Let's check on our rice. It's been 15 minutes, actually. You wanna fluff it up. Yep, that's good. There's no water at the bottom. Okay, let's see. Yes, it went through. Let's get a chunkier one. You don't want it too mushy, so we're gonna turn this fire off and let it sit. 
it should thicken a little bit. It should thicken a little bit, but right now, I think this sauce is good. Look. It's stuck to the spoon. Put that over rice. Mm. I don't eat a lot of rice. <clears throat> so the majority of this rice is for my family. So excuse the presentation, because <laughs> there's not a lot of rice. I'm not putting a lot. And now for the star of our show. Mm. Yes, boy. Put some of that gravy over that rice. I don't want too many potatoes. Neither. Let's get some. The peppers, as you can see, <laughs> are the red peppers majority. So let's just do a red pepper on top for some presentation. Let me go clean this off. There you go. Look how delicious this looks. A little close up. Taste test. Chicken, wait, some potato, some rice, and chicken all on the same fork. <clears throat> mm. I think I had a little too much pepper. That's because when I opened the top, it was the bigger spout than the little shaker. But if like it's food spicy, <laughs> add ground pepper. Thank you for watching.